my room when I wake up early in the morning. Say a prayer and I'll be okay. Disruptor pill. It's another one. Episode five, homie. Another one. Five. We on. We in the building, <laughs> but we're still going five. in. In the building, in the but we still, still going in, homie. Yeah. You do. How's you, man? Good. Once again, homie, it's nice to be alive. But I do. Very. Yeah. Very. 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 of life with every yeah, breath. I'm so happy today, man. Oh, man. So we have here two microphones this time. Oh, man. we got two mics. Leveling Woo. up. Man. This is heaven out here providing all. To no flex. 100%. To no flex. Yeah. This episode, it's all about icons. Yeah. The game was built on people's amazing backs. Very true, man. True. If it wasn't for them, uh, none of us might have even been influenced to even sit in this chair or two. Yeah. And that's why us as Disruptor Peel, we appreciate. Yeah, it's a form it's a form of social responsibility. hundred percent. Just like we said the other episode about uh uh the the linkage between Kantai and Calligraph. You can yeah. hear calligraph you can hear Kantai yeah. and calligraph. hundred percent. So yeah, this this episode now we are combining all the icons all together. Yeah, you know? is. and uh, people brought Kenyan music to where it is. Hundred percent. That's a word from the editors by the way. Yeah, that's a word from the editors. Yeah, if you don't know. Uh the there had to be since the nineties there had to uh, there had to be people who had to do it in situations where there was no internet that uh, it was i have no even idea how they recorded home very true you get very true. and uh the fact that they they did it in that time with no internet and it was tough to get equipment and resources but they still had a major impact in the industry is commendable in a way that we, we can't even have uh enough words for how grateful we are for their participation in the game when I do exactly it. that's why yeah. when you say support Kenya music you're talking to journalists yeah talking to disrupt appeal and that's what you're doing yeah that's and, uh, definitely what you're doing we've given you uh the up and coming it's not the up and coming is the uh the people on the ground right now yeah the OGs are now chilling they already gave us the game so yeah. now today we just say big up to some of the OGs uh we might cover a few of them that are necessary mm-hmm. yeah but then uh it just they are uh, the season wouldn't have ended without us talking about uh just shedding light on uh the og the people who the set pioneers. out the blueprint for all of us yes. to follow to even uh they did it well enough for us to even fall in love with the game and stuff like that very true i remember when i was a kid growing up my hood shout out to Rongai 125. Uh, we also we always had Kenyan music just in our radios, you know. We my friends and I were putting each other on to new uh, new music. What do you forget music at the time? Uh it was mainly through radio. Mm-hmm. Hey radio was supportive back then though. Yeah. I wonder why. Back then the days of Caliph Records and uh, Ogopa DJs are the two big Labels. Yeah. Hey, radio was playing yeah, their music. And everything. Yeah, it was mostly radio and TV. Those were the two media platforms. Radio and TV. Because there was even a show. Uh, where there was a music. Shout out to Eve De Souza. Hey, Eve De Souza. Eve De Souza. We still listen to her till date. She yeah. was the one who was playing. She had a show on Hits Not Home on ah, Think Capital home FM. Home. Yeah. That's why you will know about all Issa tracks, K Rapt, Nameless, Big Bean. Kantai, you know, eh, Abbas, Kubaf, Chihuahua, all those OGs, man. Kenya, Kenya, Kenya has a good foundation. Right? Kenya has a good foundation. Man. Okay. That's why now TV and radio. Yeah. That's so why uh, at the time, things. they were, what, what, what do you think made them change in a way that people are now uh, campaigning for support KE? Yeah, that's mm-hmm. a good question, man. I think uh, back in the day, because these were the pioneers, that there was no rap in Kenya until you had Issa spitting in Swahili in the oh, lyrical yeah, yeah. artist and then we were like wow yeah. this is a new thing you know uh, yeah. so since it was a new thing and it was groove it was catch mm-hmm. it was definitely get up there and i think the presenters of that day no 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 offense but this is my opinion mm-hmm. they were more supporting as compared to now oh yeah because even now if i want to say about new sound and everything you have guys who are coming up with new sound they, oh homie yeah but they what? don't get 
It's out there. It's out you, there. Yeah, just get down. You can't say yeah. You can't say there's no good. You music. can't say there's no good. But there's, music. If there's something you can't say, is there's no good music in Kenya. If something you can't say, is there's no artists that uh, reach the caliber of international artists that uh, the radio supports more Maybe than true. the local artists. That's just unless you have a a, a, a whole. Oh, you have to create a podcast as well and tell it. Yeah, for real. Yeah, they, like Kenya is that your money? I keep saying we gave Kenya, we gave the world a bow and repeat. I just like no, it's nothing. So then you can't tell me the same place that those two people came from and other great people came from. Yeah, there's just no call. You get yeah. that's just a redundant argument if if we were to have one. Yeah, very really yeah. true. So let's get to the OGs, the man. Total pick. So that's what from the editors. Yeah. Those who are just an introduction just of what introduction. the episode is going to be about. Yeah. Yeah. Then now we get into now the uh, editorial picks. Let me go take my Madigaga. Oh, you like left your Madigaga, yeah. man. Ah, oh, my niggas just do, done the intro without his signature look, man. What I do? Oh man. We're killing it though. Oh man, they are on the. Ha. Ha. Okay, we're back now. Uh, editorial picks. So, uh, on episode five, we have uh, a bunch of OGs in the game. Uh, with our editorial desk that I uh, would like to shed light on. Hopefully, it will uh, educate our uh, where we come from and the reason why we have we even came up with the disrupt appeal uh, rap lineup. Uh, that is shown screen, man. Like, it oh, will. It will. Yeah. The so, rap lineup. Uh, just to our show you soldiers. where we're coming from and our foundation and who are the first people we had uh, representing for the game that had us. I also want to represent for the game in whatever capacity. Thank God we're out here representing as journalists. So if you think we'd have ever, if it wouldn't have been this journalism reign, you would have been like on, on, on a mic still. I really doubt you, man, because yeah. the journalism, the journalism arena is where I got to learn about microphones and recording and everything. So I'm always going to give back to journalism, not the media, though, journalism. Very, very true. Yeah. Journalist. And it was an amazing journalist back in the day that had uh, in the pull up from Pulse to Buzz to uh, Mizizi, the Bait. Those yeah. are journalists that put us on the game. Very true. You get Yeah. So then it's only fair that when we grow up and we have ability to also do the same, we also put we also other put, people on, yeah. on, on like and amazing even, stuff because they did also for, for us. us. Yeah. 100%. So uh, on our editorial picks today, we have uh, Isa. Uh, is Samwari Wangui? We have uh, necessary noise. Now that's why we're in Azizi, in case we don't know. You hear me? Then uh, we have uh, STL. I'm so happy. Happy is and I'm so happy. Today is the day I woke up with the smile. Hey, shout out STL, Just man. Me, ah. Yeah, then uh, we, we also have uh, Juakali and Nonini. And around them, we might have mentioned, like, uh, you can't. You can't mention Isa and uh, even just Isa's family, Isa and Habib, and not mention Big Pain. Yeah. You can't mention Isa without Nameless. Nameless. You can't mention that whole era without Giddy Giddy Maji Maji. Maji. You can't mention that whole era without uh, how music sprang up from Dandora, mm, Uko Flan, and then your club, no music. Yeah. Yeah. Then they, those people who were acknowledged by Snoop Dogg one time. Kala Mashaka, Shara Keshaka, Roba, Vigeti, Nakama. Yeah, these are fast where we just shed light on the OGs, but for today our focus would be could we focus on those four? Yeah. But then those, we'll we'll make rounds. Yeah, we'll, we'll make rounds on all of them. And then yeah. Uh, on, uh, yeah, we'll do we might do another another one just to when we soak up enough game again, we we come out and on a do Yeah. Flex. Yeah. Hundred well, percent. Yeah. Okay, so uh number one on the list, Kijana kutoka moja toka South Sea. Unajua. Unafaa kuona akishika Mike. Unajua. Ah, Isa Mari. Isa Mari home. Isa was born in South Sea. That was his hood, man. Yeah. And since me being from Ronga, I know Ronga and South Sea is like Ronga ile unaenda Ronga, nafika ile then nafika South Sea. Yeah. 
So it, that proximity also was an was a key value oh, yeah. getting to Issa's music because it oh. was that hood in you know yeah, yeah. 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 South Sea. Do you know, do you know uh, just even along Nairobi West South Sea there's still a lot of studios like the culture is still alive. The culture is still yeah, alive. Yeah. Yeah. Something in very many human beings yeah. just in the country. Yeah. Yeah. Then there's uh there's, there's uh, several articles online that say Kenya uh, is one of those countries where we uh, because the media was playing a lot of uh, international content mm-hmm. so then the kids growing up watching that content mm-hmm. uh had that infused into them uh, so when yeah. you look at even how it's a dress it's yeah. a dress like how the rappers the biggest rappers in the game at the time dress very the true baggy uh, 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 yeah. yeah and the bandana yeah. bandana it's always rocked yeah. a bandana whenever he was on stage or so uh, music for, for people who keep asking why uh say Kenyan artists shouldn't stick to like Kapuka. Like, come on, the, the game was built like garbage in, garbage, garbage out. In, garbage it out. fed us a lot of international content. Yeah. It's only fair that it's reflected in artists' expressions. Very true. Yeah. Very true. So, even if you look at Issa's sound, Issa was one of those artists who came at a time when uh, there was, I think it's uh, Kalamashaka, uh, Kalamashaka mm. then mm. Dandora, mm. then there Uko was Flan. Flan. Mm. Then now he came with a whole new fresh yeah amazing light feeling to music and it was now people we could now sing along and it really resonated with the music we had from abroad home you hear me yes i was saying man like kijana nimesoma nimenakamtani japukua nimesoma something like that oh yeah yeah so i was saying uh okay think about employment kumbe it started a long time ago oh, yeah, it's not it's even us it's yeah. not even just it, it's no any yeah, employment any the government will never hold the youth sons man so, yeah. any that's that's the sad truth and part of and the, that's where music comes in 100%, yeah? you that's mean, where music comes in man. to us this appeal part of the reason even uh we, we we're making effort to the podcast and uh this journalism and pr stuff uh, for the music side of the game is there's enough journalists in the game teaching the country politics and corruption and uh if it's it's, it's to a point where it's co- we're now complaining in a way and the country is in so much debt and for us just living in kenya and watching the world and how say uh i can argue that hip-hop music in the states has helped more people than politics has very you true mean? very then, true and uh, jay-z has touched more people than any politician has very ever. true you hear me very so true. then you look at nas lyrics and all so then our job as journalists is to counter to, to create a balance okay it's not wrong for people to learn about their politicians and their leaders but then just create a balance in a, in a world where it's so political and yeah. corruption infused so that now we come and teach people about music as well so that we also export because you can't export politics to another country it for can't. revenue it but then you can export music, music. and culture yeah. to other countries for yeah. revenue and yeah. that can help us amaze many people changing lives you know yeah. the bi- disruptor people want to change lives in, in any yeah. sort of way you know yeah it is quote that says that the world doesn't always anything but canvases cannot say the same canvases yeah. cannot say the same yeah. Yeah. and as long as the canvas is white people need to be on their jobs so yeah as is to educate people on this give you the same game that politicians give you but yeah. now the music side and i i think that's the perspective also is a hard yeah because coming up from a neighborhood uh south sea growing up uh they used to work i saw uh, talia oyando's uh interview one time mm-hmm. so she said there was a time they want they really needed to record fair queen atosha so they had to uh walk oh, to yeah. the studio yeah Grind. yeah and that time they were going to record this track called hamnitish oh, ha- yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and if you know, if you know that track, Isa was a, that was a heartfelt track. It was yeah, he was saying that wh- where I'm here right now is because of one, my father in heaven, and yeah. two, my fans. And Isa was very prayerful. You know, there's something about uh, how rappers, rappers are very prayerful. Very. They might very. do all like uh, the thing about rap that you have to know is it's it's, it's a canvas. A beat is like a canvas to a rapper. So if you if you judge Picasso's paint strokes, or if you don't judge Picasso's paint strokes, mm. there's no reason you should ever judge the rapper. It's just, yeah. a, it's just a canvas. It's just a canvas. And the fact that they have 
players in there they have you get mm. yeah then there's this uh something else about Easter that uh for if we if we mention Easter I bet you're thinking uh, like that's normal is a legend everyone knows yeah but then picture this like reverse that to where the one time there was a kid just called Isa Mwari Wangui in school thinking up this image of he wants to be like a Kenyan superstar yeah. behind the mic then he ground he grinded for it so much that to now the image he had in his head we also had we so witnessed it and revered him and respected him for it that so much that when he passed he's still here with us he's still here with us that's so, 2003 yeah. and we're in 2019 yeah so uh the fact that he's a legend is not a picture it's not easy There's yeah people with images and yeah. dreams in their heads and you to understand how hard it is to bring that out into reality for someone else to believe in you or even uh, believe in you more than you do yourself or with an image that you just had as a kid mm. yeah so that's one of the things i could use for above it above the music above uh what he's but known he's, for the yeah. fact that he was just a kid yeah then he had this image and he brought it to fruition very true that and these guys powerful. were doing tours bro like you hear me? country you know country it's, tours it's, from nairobi to nakuru to naivasha and they had like two he buses wrote, he wrote in a book Imagine. from an idea wrote in a book went got uh to meet that to culture should things. go but should come back man that and culture of doing tours yeah, that lifestyle people he was likable people wanted to dress like yeah his home. yeah he actually we dressed like it details, yeah like, hey you know, yeah but they it was one of the big acts first big acts to be signed by Ogopa DJs mm-hmm. and one thing i remember about Ogopa DJs their logo oh home it was <laughs> the red screen yeah sky. screaming sky yeah, yeah. the jordan Homie, I, red I, I screaming saw sky that thing on the, i told you yeah you t- yeah that that thing. With yeah that, uh, that's how much culture was you get now we see the difference between now and back then but there was something there was just cause to me isa was the best brand ambassador for the record label very true seen. very Locally. true very true represented for ogopa dj is how rose represents for mmg you hear mm. you we, we knew of ogopa dj every time we saw the logo on the newspaper it was you got excited yeah. it gave you a rush and we started with isa because disruptor pill we like giving back a lot all about social responsibility 100%. and our main my main verse from isa as we go to the necessary noise mm-hmm. was when he said uh ukiotesha mazuri mazuri utavuna that was from his amnity um, track that track is conscious i listen to it i think on a daily by the way bro i like that you say that because they 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 is uh i think they also uh ours is uh given that we're artists ourselves so there's a, a negative review i read about is uh, where by uh, on daily nation by mm. uh, by what is name it's 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 a delineation article it was written uh, while, uh during one of these uh what do you call it anniversary yeah then someone said that isa wasn't conscious he he only is great because he's passed on um, i read that article like this just to set the record straight and to holler the homie who wrote the article like hey homie holler at us maybe we don't understand you but yo that homie was a conscious brother Oh, Isa was, was conscious. I don't think maybe our jump skills are visible. Yeah. So we were not even supposed to mention that, but yeah. just to set the record just to set the record straight. straight yeah. But you are legend with respect. I yeah. to give back, and ours is just to make sure people shine. Yeah. Just because ours is to make Americans buy into this music, homie. When I do, I just as much as they. Yo, it's only fair that they buy into our music as well because we've bought so much into their culture since we were young. So we learned their game, we watched their journalists, you hear me? Mm. So this is us just like, okay, so we're doing it as well. So you push your also check on people yeah. as well. Yeah, do a sway, right? Do a social also papers and stuff. Mm. Do a little main. Yeah, 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 yeah because you yeah. put on, as a put us on to so much, much music. Yeah, you know, so it's up to us now. To, they're using, yeah, now we're now putting put on you, on, yeah. to our music. Yeah, you hear me? I repeat to the lyrical yeah. tongue twister. Yeah. Kijana was uh, so It goes without mentioning that uh uh isa works alongside nameless big pain mr lenny uh dukes vultures hey dukes vultures Nini, red sun yeah yeah 
then they brought about the danceability of music yeah most 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 it was easy to remember the music yeah it was relatable yeah. it was a fun type of 100%. Really nice yeah. man, really then, nice. Then uh, he had a, he had an he had an album called Nimefika. Nimefika. Yeah. It Nimefika Jo. You put others this you you might not know the album so you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> then you might know the song. You're definitely like, welcome. Yeah, you know the song like <laughs> Nimefika Jo. Yeah, Sare, Bamba, Hamnitishi, the conscious one. Of course. Yeah, Kamat. Kamata, yeah, Hamnitishi. Yeah. That's a classic. That's a classic. hundred percent. So for whoever was asking where is the conscious chart? Um Nitishi. No chart home. And the album is called Yani Yani it's been a long yeah, time coming. It was hey. That's like for someone who has been twenty one when he passed That's like for someone to have that much impact at just twenty one. Pizza his impact. In Kenya actually. Yeah. But there's also an article online that says he might not have been as big had he been alive. Home, he gave us some Nitishi at 21 or even before 21. So just pick, if, do, do the math if Habnitishi is equal to 21 or if 21 is equal to Habnitishi. Therefore, for the math, it, it compounds into something bigger. Very, very. Yeah. Ogopa DJ would Ogopa. have been bigger or we would have had a campus or something. Very true, man. That's yeah. like no cap. Because, uh, no cup yeah you get and if you have an issue of like come on oh, tell us <laughs> like kamata bomba train you hear me leoni leo leoni leo wahu you can say my question in muongo basini pem kono then uh shout out to uh daily nation or uh at the this writer j m m J- Mosongo. Mosongo. Yeah. yeah shout out to you you gave us a little bit of insight, insight with, uh, yeah the homie as well yeah uh then uh what what else about isa do you want to tell people decide that they should go jam his music and if you find any bad track just come yeah see us in the streets then say something you hear me yeah so isa always showed love to the women though you know oh yeah he always yeah. showed love most of this music why the like feminine type of you oh, know yeah. So shout out I repeat to Isa your music still lives on Necessary Noise so that's number 2 on the total picks is Necessary Noise <laughs> that's a uh, Wire Nazizi Nazizi yeah, ah. a, an amazing if there's a better do in <laughs> Kenya I'm here to know about when I do I will know about them but then they they set out the blueprint Let for... me tell you one thing about Necessary Noise mm-hmm. uh, and it reflects till today mm-hmm. you know this track by Tunji Shout out to Tunji Masarunga. Uh-huh. Nesari Noise was the first group, Kenyan group, to bring the Matatu culture. Oh yeah. With their song, yeah. Ile, uh, 33 Mba, number 11, very South true. B, South C. Very true. Yeah, very you remember true. that track? Yeah, very, very true. Ah, uh, yeah, and videos have even the, the Matatu culture. Yeah, they had the Matatu very culture. True. Very true. Nesis was telling, yo, yo, Punguza, Redeal, Kuna, Makaroko, Ko Horizon. Yeah. Well, and and it was authentic, you know. Give me how Nesis is spit in this. Ah, hey, you remember, yeah, and that track, I still remember it to date. And the, the track, uh, Bless My Room. Whoa, home. They spoke to everyone. If, if you listen to bless my room it doesn't resonate to you you are called brother very <laughs> very they use the call you are being. called human yeah. being yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the that's the type of music you want to listen to when you wake up in the morning you get yeah and they were conscious people they to me they 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 they, they managed to cut across all edges the kids who listen to him there was arguments whether Waire is Waire or is why yeah <laughs> i remember man music, we don't know, we don't know. yeah yeah, yeah. let me i want to get the name of that track though refined it the matatu yeah, yeah. so and necessary then, noise then uh the group was actually originally composed of us uh, nazizi uh nazizi had he's called uh, nazizi, nazizi Haj. then singer kevin waire and uh, rapper Bamzigi, though Bamzigi later left due to personal and yeah. label disputes. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Bamzigi. Bamzigi is also like Jesus Christ. You hear me, Bamzigi? Kenya can Kenyan music cannot uh, be mentioned without mentioning Bamzigi. So shout out to you as well, big home. Yeah, shout out to Bamzigi, his kid brother, Kid Cora. Yeah, kid doing Cora, big things with the council. Yeah. Home. 
they come from a musical family yeah yeah, yeah. yeah i got it the song was called kenyan boy kenyan girl kenyan boy kenyan girl yeah they remember kenyan boy yeah. which guy eh? and then they, uh, hey, they, were, they were very old do you know uh there's a uh, what do you call it they were uh they formed the group in like two two uh, 2000 then they released their first uh debut album in 2000 under audio voice which uh became blue zebra but then if you follow Ted Josiah, that's all his brand. He yeah. events after a while. He's a very uh, con- uh, innovative, innovative, yeah. innovative uh, creative. Yeah, because he, he's known to work with a press. So, so uh, Ted Josiah is responsible for, say, yes, their first the album and yeah. maybe their, uh, their videos yeah. too. Unajua. Man, that was amazing. Ted Josiah is a videographer, producer, homie. There's nothing creative this person doesn't do. Even the fashion designer and everything. Holy stuff. And I love also one thing, another thing about Necessary Noise, bro. Mm-hmm. Nazizi was on their music, they were publicly, without fear, without stuttering, yeah. saying their social injustices. For example, in the case of hair, you know Nazizi is a Rasta guy. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And at the time, it wasn't as accepted as it is. No, it wasn't. It wasn't no, as cool at that time. as people are and accepting. Yeah. Yeah, because the world is kind of secular by that. Uh, how I told the PR class how secular really means it yeah. is accepting Just of everyone. Ex- yeah, without it. Yeah, it doesn't mean like this is now the non church didn't yeah. yeah just to set the record straight you hear me just to set the record yeah. straight that was in bless my room yeah uh the exact lyrics were never put a scissor upon your naughty dreadlocks babylon visa creating so much tension so she was saying yeah. it's this westernized you know the white how they they perceived us they made us to change how we were viewing ourselves and oh, make them like uh, yeah, get yeah, yeah, get their yeah, cultures yeah, and stuff yeah, so he was saying that's now babylon so was, she was saying mm-hmm. uh babylon visa creating so much tension so when you go to you have their qualifications just since you have, to, you have dreadlocks mm-hmm. you can't get the job like yeah because yeah, society like we were so i think she was trying to push society like because art is a visionary artists are very visionary she might have seen what now we have right now where people have dreadlocks and suits and mm. the ceo yeah exactly. just hair home. like how did we come to hate people who just have hair it's hair it's hair like it's hair it's home. the whites man they came and told it's us hair. how we are supposed to live oh how you know the ethics the so-called ethics ah oh. it's crazy man sorry noise uh they did a collaboration with Baby Cool from UG. Yeah, baby, and that was amazing. Baby Cool is a, it was a huge artist. African anthem, movie. yeah. Then they came up with like, uh, they, they had these names, like the fact that Nazis is Nazis, that's an amazing name. Just, yeah. Like, shout out to uh, the folks for being that creative with the name. Mm. Then Nazis had then Kevin Waire. Kevin Waire, yeah, yeah just Kevin. With, with the Waire. Baby Cool. You see how Africans have amazing names like this, Waire, Baby Cool. Then they came up with African Bashman. East, East African Reggae Bashman crew. Ayo, yeah. Ayo. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, from working together, they got uh, nominated at yeah. the ina- inaugural uh, 2008 MTV, MTV Awards. Africa Music, music, uh, music Awards. Mm. Guy, that's, that's like back in the day, that was in 2008. They were making MTV moves true Sheesh. imagine imagine yeah. they also uh they were they also did collaborations with kina doobie 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 ah, do- doobies oh, jerry, hey. jerry doobies yeah, jerry doobies of case out and a, a basku buff and uh, i usually say your ten dog is one of those kenyans that have a classic uh kenyan, kenyan record, record. yeah yeah to, yeah guys so for them to also collaborate with them is like amazing then uh uh they also uh miss chief from zimbabwe uh yeah then they also have solo productions before and after the uh, the existence of the group then also they won a whole bunch of other awards in before they won kissing awards best group and best music video their impact was really felt as a best reggae group. yeah and then they came in the uh, in a time where uh, the, the industry was really full of uh, international reggae type music then now uh, they took that influence and canonized it and now spoke real issues societal issues that people are going through the youth mm. and now they've made it like melodic melodic yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, and those are classics. They never get all those songs. I bet they still tour with the same songs, Maju. Yo, like right now, I'm in the mood to listen on some Kenyan. After this, I'm going to jump to 54 music, bro. Chagulatinis, where did these things go, man? I think As in, uh, they, 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 whoever, whoever came uh, up with those played the blueprint for us. Yeah. So I yeah. just turn out to pick them yes. from them. You and we will. Our only yeah. beef is they stop. You hear me? Hey. Yeah. Really but we really appreciate, we really appreciate the. They, 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 they showed us something. You know? Yeah. So we might ever have like a distress of pillar words. Yeah. Just to, when I do, I give back to, yeah, that was into a four where they won Tabula. Tabula uh, Latinese. Then into a six, they won Palo Africa Music Awards, Palm Awards, mm. as the best group. Yeah. Uh, Kenyans homie, then they are uh, they were nominated. Those were the, well, the ones they won. Then they still scoop nominations in Tanzania Music Awards, Channel O Music Video Awards as best best reggae video Kenyan boy, Kenyan guy. Yeah, Kenyan so, boy which counts. Then they bro. also got yeah. like, they know they nominated to five for best East Africa album they said you know it's two. Yeah. They had an album back in the day. Album like, it cost like I don't know how much to Nowadays everyone just has put a loop so you can record in your phone. Yeah. Child's play. Nowadays it's child's play man. Yeah. Then also uh what do you call it? Uh Waire, Waire is a very I think he's one of the best students of the game. I've read and uh Waire has like uh, his influences in music. His best artist is Damien Miley home. Which to me they get like they made like this the, the, the theory, <laughs> theory I have right? and Mali to me is I think the best artist in the world if you just go listen and listen. But then I bump into his album Stony Hill. Okay. Mm. Wow, 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 wow. But then the fact that he he might never get that credit because he's Bob Marley's son. You, yeah. you, regardless of how good you are, if you're Bob Marley's anything, you're forever in it. Now I race Junior Junior Dreddy, but, but that's the story of another day. But it, it's very smart. <laughs> and an undreaded homie yeah. influences all dreaded homies. You don't homies. have to dread to be Rasta. You get it. Yeah. You don't have to be dread. Shout out to everyone. Hey, we I miss you guys, man. Be the baddest home girl in town, you? Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So then uh, you go, you, you, there's no bad track by Waire. Akuna. Either from back in the day or right now. Akuna. And he works with the amazing, still they work in, with, in South East. Mm. Uh, home home ground. Still, mm. Yeah. Still uh, has amazing artists and like creatives. So right now it records with the uh, Herbalist music. Uh, Hubble Records, Hubble Records. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mwas. Yeah, shout out Hubble Music. You hear me? Yeah, we're out here representing, man. Mm-hmm. Like, with a duo. So, uh, he has um, just. If you find any bad way red track, you, you you come and we'll take them. Yeah, so we'll take the blame. We'll, we'll take find the any blame. bad way red track. Yeah. Uh, Mwagi. Number three on the editorial picks. We have a. <laughs> <laughs> there are That's what they, uh, they call about because yeah, you know, there are and, then, and then she drops in Kikuyu oh. home. And the fact ha! that she does that, ha! and, and it came, uh, I remember that be a Sarane came around the time when people arguing whether they should uh, do uh, uh, rapping so he so he English the mother tongue. So to me, I was the whole time was feeling like you don't have to, but you just represent your like just you know, re- yeah. If I would drop, I'd never do that, or me, you hear me? <laughs> but then I'd represent my Louis at home. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. it's inside me how South Africans infuse their dialect in there. In their style, in their style yeah, it's yeah. like an flow. Then there comes a girl who went to Norway in 91. She only stayed here for five years. Then record probably recorded the track in Norway coming with like a dog yo be a sarane you hear me like that she really and she's rapping in Sapiri bro oh, and it's amazing <laughs> then that conversation that's quieted down because now you can't stay we can't <laughs> you get yeah. with someone who has yeah yeah and her first song was very international mm. Uh, it's called we'll Take It Back. Take It Back. Yeah, it was very. Heshima kwa uyu dada. Jamani ya metoka fa. Home, you're in high. You're, you're, hey, that was that was a very. There was that track and the Kantai one. Happy. Happy. Hey, I played Happy for my homie Happy. this morning. Hey, it blew his mind off, man. Happy is an amazing. R.I.P. Kantai. It's 
it's a girl just rapping like that yeah, in the home. In the home, you know. And you can't even tell them apart. Like they're, 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 they're so chemistry. They're okay. switching flow. They're switching the beat. In the same verse, they come one on one. It's like yeah. toe to toe. Ah, it was really interesting. Yeah, that yeah. was a nice track, man. Timeless yeah, track. But well, that's the good thing about art too. Like the thing about also the short appeal that we have also we study a lot uh content mm. and uh just like marketing and how life would be after say we are gone uh is if you create content as a creative uh, the content remains after you're gone so it is just just to motivate people it's say you're in the studio to yeah. do a yeah. completed track yeah shoot man, a video, shoot a video. Do a, put it out there because if it wasn't for this i would not have been mentioning like i can't tie so he lives on in our in our systems mm-hmm. you know you get mm-hmm. yeah because he put out content so yeah it's motivation for us as well and, very true uh, yeah and, and now we can go to Ah, here yeah, I continue. The, finish with the steer. Mm. You're saying go to? Uh, I wanted to sh- to go to Calif Records, oh, but I, I feel oh, like I you have something I, I, about yeah, Estia. Yeah, to me, Estia really represents for us. She's uh, the fact that she's a uh, she's a uh, she's a uh, she's a uh, do we say lady or she's a woman or she's a girl? She's a lady. She's a lady. A lady. Yeah. The fact that she's a lady and she's doing things that even her male counterparts in a male dominated industry haven't done mm. is amazing it makes me uh put the like uh the, this time jay-z said that when obama became president the concept of the gangster became less relevant <laughs> that's irrelevant you get uh, so to me like when 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 uh ladies usually come and complain and say they don't have opportunities it's tough to be in a male dominated yo STL will probably be the biggest artist in East Africa just how she moves and she's a lady and her music supports it her craft she started yeah. the game you get so for me to hear someone complain and it, it the same thing applies you get the concept of a, a, a lady being disadvantaged in the game became irrelevant when I, when I knew of STL, STL that I mean, yeah. Yeah. so me that's never an yeah. argument yeah. Yeah. You hear ah, STL is the way yeah. like, so if it. she did it you can't come and tell me oh it's yeah. time for oh, yeah. come, 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 come. Yeah. then her work has been used in films now this is why I say she's the biggest artist in, in East Africa probably Africa and she's a lady she's what how old i don't know 32 32 home early 30 you get so she's she's done her work has been used in films such as american pie presents the naked mile you should never watch that movie if you have know it being that has served the last dance too and also uh in tv series such as csi and why and scrub then she plays the piano home she raps sings plays the piano she's a business lady she has a master's degree <laughs> then she knows her local dialect regardless of growing up in Norway far away from home well that's well that's an impressive business so then uh, Stella first top the official singles chart in Norway this girl came from Kenya and went and disrupted Norway Norwegian mm-hmm. you hear me so uh, to her, they did this up in Kenya is no issue. There's no issue. Dude, she went well, she's and conquered the world away from home. She's done it away yeah. from home. You hear me? Then, if you've mm. noticed, every artist we've mentioned on Disrupt Appeal have uh, a discography, a collection of work, amazing content that has been written over time. Yeah. It, uh, we enjoy music so much, we don't even call these albums, we call them books. You hear me? It is, it's uh, amazing that's how written we, yeah you get it's only that it's, it's presented differently in a canvas that is into instrumentation mm-hmm. yeah then so stl has two bodies of work uh the first is called living in music it was released in 20th october to eight under our mtg productions and format digital download the second one is called kinanda released in uh 10th uh, june 2011 my bad then under uh mii and norwegian label then uh format digital as well it was just important for us to mention the record labels because she was really young when she was thinking mm. these deals yeah. Yeah. and yeah it just she's, she's a nice blueprint for anyone in the kenyan industry mm. and wild dog yeah. yeah then notable about stl as well is uh the rock acknowledged her uh, uh, on his uh, series bonus for having dope lyrics. 
not for being nothing but not, not yeah. for playing the pageantry not, not for, for being the pen game no for the how pen long game. will we insist about the pen game it's the pen we've game. said it ever since it is the pen you game. have the canvas of the yeah, pen you get right then she was uh, she shared the stage with uh, TDE's J Rock and even Freestyle. Freestyle, oh, yeah, that's actually it's Freestyle. a new, that's a recent, yeah, uh, recent video. You get it did rounds online, yeah. So it yeah, was fantastic. Uh, the rest is we could quote her music, but then that means we quote everything. Mm. Very <laughs> true. Very true. So we we'll never leave this podcast if we if we go that route. But there's no music of her that is not inspirational. Is not uh, if you love music, you love her music definitely regardless of what walk of life you are you're coming from here yeah. yeah then now calif records yeah calif records homie calif is interesting calif no calif is a good when did you get to know calif i knew calif through jua kali there's yeah. this song of jua kali like when it was ruka is on me kono rusha Hey, bestage. So this track in his lyrics, he likwa two stories on time. Mm. Just hood stories, you know. When you're chilling with your boys, ni ni ni. Storytelling, good storytelling. Yeah, and then Noni ni came through with Kina Kiroro. Welcome. No, me, to me, you know, Kali <laughs> kind of was the perfect balance for that time. For that time, yeah. Yeah. Kind of I need to stay conscious of it. Was just the good homie on the block. Yeah, on the block. Yeah. Use the mic a lot. If there was to be a blueprint of a rapper, it's Jokali. Jokali is just a rapper. Like he never, we never had Jokali do anything. He might be having other ventures, but we just know him as a rapper. Mm. And he's been successful like that. He's, he's among the first people who signed uh, million dollar deals with corporate. Yeah. Orange. Yendo ali to show, ali show artists the corporate route. You get. Mm. Then he's very comfortable with the with his delivery. He just talks. Yeah, he just talks. I don't get that story. Just give me stories. Then uh, Calif Records, uh, uh, like we said in the previous episode, is one of those record labels that came with a, a very disruptive band yeah. that can be replicated. And they signed a Kina Pili Pili, the late Lady S. Ah, right. Then I have this theory that uh, if there's an, if an artist right. or another right. artist that is not as prominent as them, it yeah. means they're that, that good and mm. secure with their craft mm. now. Mm. to support other people and bring them up on their platform and the two biggest artists in Kenya that have done that came from Kali Frequid mm. Kali mm. and Nonini Nonin. gave us the unit, gave us, we knew of Decimal because yeah, they bon gave us so much shit yeah. Jua Kali yeah. said yeah. Ali to let her out MAJAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAA
But these were days when the studios were like counting. Imagine, yani yeah, it was re- it was a real hassle man and to get to the studio. And, but then that could be why the music was really nice back in the day. Yeah. Couldn't take it for granted. Yeah, because you know how special. you know how much you sacrificed and gone through to get here. Right. Ah, I'm listening the lyrics. Ani, sure. nikitoka hapa, right. I have a bang. Right. And that's yeah. that's the spirit everyone should have even right, right. now. Na joke okay. toka studio know you have a bang I like unquestionable I pray for a debate about Very that true. hey man studio is Calif- I think is also one of those record that they've never fronted on things that are under unrealistic yeah yeah it's real like it's that they have very the pen game is very naked and transparent mm. and honest mm. and that's very real mm. Ah, like they are uh, we cannot even represent for them enough we are the, the whole series. series and that's why because uh we can't to take too long we have some unnot- the notable also people uh-huh. that we have uh-huh. mentioned uh kina pressure pilipili musa juma who passed away in nini when he was in us they yeah. were those were like rumba yeah. people yeah. angela chibalonza uh-huh. RIP to you know with Johnny Vigetti yeah, but Vigetti is nice. Then yeah. he has a track with Ray as well. Yeah, he has a track with Ray in his new album Mr. Vigetti. That album how I knew that album was big is there's people in Nakuru who have had copies of it. Oh yeah, in Nakuru from Mr. Vigetti. A bunch of people like you go into anyone's crib there is a Mr. Vigetti album. No cap, that was the best album in the last decade oh. in Kenya in terms even of production crazy man crazy also there was this uh we mentioned a bus of course a bamboo bamboo okay south oh, eh? bamboo came not about the family victoria kimani victoria kimani the sister we have in this country very true hard working persistent resilient yeah then uh there is these uh people usually throw shade on nini for like keroro and stuff like yeah that. oh you yeah get, yeah but then picture this in these ads and uh time we have say take us in the steps mm. he he does marketing with no budget he gets to prime time with no budget no nini was doing this back in the day with no internet no he internet prime time talking the truth like Roro like it was the truth yeah, it's like truth, he right? raised the mirror to society mm. and just put it on the mic you can't hate someone for that that's pure art yeah you hear yeah. so for for anyone who was looking at keroro or any other you know nini track nini has done yeah. you just go and study his uh work introspect and introspectively he's a journalist yeah he just but says what a, is he only yeah. puts, his, he puts it in song but then the truth is the truth is hard to find mm. i want to say why they will never say that he, the best way to hide is behind the truth behind the truth you have to talk to the people so to me no nini that's is, uh, harsh man that's true you get no nini figured out ways of being transparent and honest and if you check any public relation textbook or go listen to any public relation uh expert yeah. they tell you honesty and transparency are the hardest human qualities to acquire hardest. so i even think back in the day people didn't hate on him mm. they admired him it just came out yeah. the wrong way now says hate is confused and admiration because it takes a lot of energy more energy to hate someone just to like adore the sun yeah just adore them as yeah. a piece so of mind just set the record straight for anyone who will, who will go look up uh, yeah. his music and yeah. it's very introspective yeah. they couldn't have wasted studio time back in the day just yeah. to record something stupid true yeah true that's very really true yeah that's very really true yeah. so i uh, uh, uh by the way uh, there is this track by Caterpillar called Icons That's what I listened to then I got this idea of yo should you pay homage man. Oh, yeah. yeah it's an it's a recent track go to YouTube search yeah. Caterpillar icons and shout out to Caterpillar by the young woman in Yeah so uh on episode 5 wow what a deal episode 5 yeah Disrupt a pain in the business it's a rap what a deal when the building but still going in but still um, going in do you with them As episode 5 how about the flex near to the cuisine my lights ora jua ala zima hadi happy as is you come hailing me was a big kid ora jua eh